Hello, hello, and welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race Rejudged, where today we will be doing an analysis into which queen had the best runways on Season 7 of All Stars. For this video, I will be picking the top three looks of every category, and then at the end, I will be tallying up who is in the top three looks of the week the most. If there were any great looks that you think I missed for this video, please let me know in the comments. Category is... I'm crowning. For this category, there was no shortage of good looks, but ultimately, I decided to go with Jinx Monsoon, Raja, and Shea Coulee. Jinx's runway needs no explanation, it is beautiful. Raja's was incredible conceptually, the execution was perfect, I still don't know how it got booted. And with Shay, while her looks were not always the strongest this season, when the look hit, it hit. This is a work of art. Category is the pleather principle. It's the principle of pleather. It's a pun, get it? For this category, the top three are Jada Essence Hall, Monet Exchange, and The Vivian. Jada, I just love the idea. I love the execution. She was beautiful. Monet, once again, had a beautiful runway. It kind of creased a bit in some places, but overall it was great. And for the Vivian, I love every part of it. I might have gone with a different color if it were me, but I overall just love the look. Category is Realness of Fortune. We have Jada, Raja, and Trinity. They were the clear best three in the ball overall, and their final looks were all amazing. Jada's had so many intricate details that she nailed. Raja's was just the definition of the word shoot. And Trinity, I think, had a great execution with the hair, the mask, pretty much every part of it. Category is Spikes on the Runway. We got Jada, the Vivian, and Trinity. Jada's look was amazing. She could have done a bit more work on the makeup on the back of her neck, but just from the front and pretty much every angle, it's beautiful. The Vivian, I know she got a bit of criticism for the inspiration of the look, but the final product she got was incredible. And with Trinity, I'm a sucker for any kind of vampire-esque thing, so she gets up there for me. Category is... Veiled it! For this category, I went with Monet Exchange, The Vivian, and Evie Oddly. While Monet's look didn't perfectly fit the category, I really enjoyed it. For The Vivian, I just love the concept, I love the color she went with, just great overall. Evie Oddly, I think this is the greatest look Evie has ever worn across both of her seasons. It is beautiful, it fits the category perfectly. Category is Night of a Thousand Dolly Partons. I don't know why they chose this runway to go with a girl group's challenge, but we got Monet Exchange, The Vivian, and Trinity the Tuck. Monet, I just love the concept and the look she went with. The Vivian, I don't know why they let her bring in Dolly Parton to walk the runway for her, but it looked great. And Trinity, I think her drag aesthetic translates to Dolly Parton really well, and her execution of this was really nice. Category is Legendary Legend Looks. Now the top two here very clearly are Jada and Trinity, and the third slot was between Monet and Shay. I ultimately decided to go with Monet, while both of their looks are amazing and easily could have been in the top three, I don't think Shay's look was completely finished, although that's not really her fault. I also do not like the pink leggings going into a pink shoe, but they're different shades of pink. I think Monet just had an overall more cohesive final product. Category is Nitty Nitty Bang Bang. Jada, Raja, and Evie all did great. They're the clear top three for me. I think Jada had a really cute concept and she executed it really well. Raja's idea of C-3PO as a knitting grandma is really great. And I think once again, when Evie's looks hit, they really hit. This is also one of the greatest runways she has ever worn. Category is What Lies Beneath. First up, Jada Essence Hall. All four of her looks were incredible. 
anyone alone would be amazing, but the fact that they were all one garment and not just dresses she was taking off takes it to another level. I think Jinx just overall had a great concept and a great execution. Monet, great concept, great message, incredible execution. Any three of her looks would be incredible. Overall, this was just a really strong runway category. Category is All Glowed Up. Raja, Shay, Evie, I don't really feel like I need to say anymore. Raja's laser chrysalis was beautiful. Shay's sunflower fairy was beautiful. Evie was just a beautiful mushroom goddess. I don't know if this is a hot take, but I think this was overall the best runway across any season ever collectively. No one did badly. It was just true all winners level drag. And finally, category is Grand Finale Eleganza. Jada was beautiful, the wig went with the dress perfectly, everything fit together, it moved beautifully, just great way to finish out the season for Jada. Raja, I had no idea I needed this, but this was incredible. For the final slot, I was switching between a few queens, but I ultimately went with Monet Exchange. I think it's a really interesting look. I love the color combination. I love the way it just fit around her. It overall just, I really enjoyed it. Although a lot of people did well on this category, so let me know if you disagree about that one. Finally, we have arrived at the chart. I love making charts, and here we have it. As a refresher, every time a queen's look appeared in the top three, they scored one point. The scores shift around a lot, but by episode 7, you can kind of see Jada, Monet, Trinity, and Raja all running away with it. I think Jinx and Shay both brought some really great runways. It just wasn't the most memorable or outside-of-the-box runways for me. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Let me know if you disagree with any of my decisions down in the comments. But that is all I have for you today, so hey, do you want more non-Emmy-nominated content? Well then you should subscribe for more gay sh**.